What's going on, everybody? Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Today, we've got a beautiful rainy day here in Southern California. And customer brought me a truck. It's got 700 and let's see if we can zoom in there. 706,000 miles. Says he has potentially an issue with an injector. Now, I did get a fault code for the injector number six. So we may have an issue there. We'll find out. We're going to do a few tests first. But again, I wanted to show you what we have. Uh, we do have an existing malfunction indicating code and i believe that's going to be related to the one box but that's a different story for now so anyway what i want to do is i want to see if i have an issue with an injector or potentially a compression issue related to a cylinder for example it's got 706,000 miles sorry i'm going back and forth uh customer tells me that the truck has never had a valve adjustment done so that may resolve our issue i don't know yet but i kind of want to uh cover all my bases here so first thing we're going to do is run a test on a compression which requires using your software it is going to require you to crank you're going to hold it down the truck will crank it will not start or it should not start and when it once it stops cranking on its own you're going to let go of the key and you should get the result so here we go All right, let's see what the numbers are. Let's see if potentially we can find or pinpoint. Look at that. We have zero compression in number six. So that kind of leads me down a, a trail of potentially we have an issue where we might be able to fix the problem with a simple valve adjustment. Okay, now I know you hear, hear me say that over and over again, but look at the numbers, they don't lie. Number six has zero percentage of, con of uh, compression. Number five, 14 and a half. Number four, 65%. And then the other three are actually really good, okay? So right now, obviously I can't do anything with the rain. I can't pull in the truck to the, inside the shop because I've already got a truck in the shop. So I gotta wait until this rain subsides before I can go any further. Um, the customer states that when he drives a truck, he does it does smooth out, uh, it does run a lot better. So that kind of leads me again down the path of, hey, a valve adjustment might, fi might fix this. I won't know for sure until I open this thing up and start checking the, the lash on the intake and the exhaust, which again, I think that's that will confirm the problem I have. So I will stop the video here. I will continue once the rain stops and I can get my butt out there and start working on the truck. Okay, guys, check that out. I don't know if you can hear it. The truck is idling really bad. It definitely feels like a misfire. Now this is again at regular idle. I hope you guys can hear that. I hope that the audio can get picked up on that. Now I'm going to accelerate just a little bit. If you can notice down there, I'm going to give it a little bit of throttle, just about a thousand RPMs. I'm not going to do very much because again, I don't want any damage to happen to the engine potentially, but I'm going to give it a little bit of juice. Look at that. It actually balances out. So that kind of leads me down to number one, valve adjustment that should resolve our issue because look, it doesn't run like shit. I'm gonna take my foot off of it. Okay, I'm gonna stop that. So yeah, that's the way I'm leaning. Valve adjustment, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna do a compression test again and hopefully these numbers will improve. I think they will. Um, I will show you what I find as I'm doing that. So there we go. Okay guys, really quick, I forgot to add this part to the video. Um, I was going to do a cylinder cutout test, which is going to let me manually cut out the injectors at different RPMs, 600 RPM up to a thousand. I think the computer lets you do it. Um, so again, the compute, the cylinders are on and when you cut it off, the injector should respond and the engine should tremble. But because the way it's running now, I don't want to risk potentially something going on with the engine. Um, I'd hate to be responsible for that. Again, the truck's here, the guy's trusting me with, or trusting us with his truck, with his work. So I'm not gonna do this test yet, the cutout test, because again, I don't think the issue is um, an injector, even though the code that comes out here, see, idle smoothness control, cylinder number six, quantity deficit at idle, which obviously you can tell that because of the compression, it's shit. So I'm gonna stop there. Uh, we do have a DPF filter efficiency too low, which means the DPFs might need to get replaced or serviced, in this case, they may need to get replaced, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Okay, guys, you know the drill. We're gonna go ahead and take all the accessories out of the way. 
Uh, nice thing about these 2018s is this is actually a lot shorter so it doesn't get in the way and you can actually access the rear cylinder. So that's kind of nice. So we're gonna take this air filter out. We're gonna take all the accessories out of the way and proceed with checking the valves for adjustment hopefully making the right adjustments um, as needed, but we're gonna adjust everything in this case. But again, if you, if you remember correctly, number six, number five, and number four, those had very bad compression, um, especially number six. So again, we're gonna take all this crap out. We're gonna go ahead and set, set the engine to time, very important, and we will go from there. I'll keep you guys posted as we- Okay guys, off. so we have everything off of the top. We are a TDC one, so we're gonna go ahead and verify the valves before we uh, go ahead and loosen them up um, again just to kind of confirm whether we have a bad cylinder a bad cylinder head something like that but anyway I want to just run the overhead on this uh, and again 2018 DD 15 should be the same process as the 2000 pretty much 9 10 11 all the way up to 18 I don't know if it changes as, as far as 19 or 20 is concerned but either way again DD 15 here we go Okay guys, so really quick, just to confirm, we're gonna adjust on the TDC one, you already know this, one, two, four on the intake, and we're gonna do one, three, five on the exhaust. But really quick, I just wanna show you something. You can typically hear this when the valves are decent. Okay, one, two, and look at four, nothing. So this is one of them that had a very bad uh, compression. I don't think it was as bad as number six, but we'll worry about six once we get there um, on the next rotation, so again, we're gonna go ahead and do the adjustments. Uh, I'm not really gonna show that process because I've kind of done it over and over in a video and I don't wanna bore the heck out of you guys. So again, one, two, four, intake, one, three, five. Okay guys, so first rotation, TDC one, I like to call it valves one, two, four, adjusted. Number four was definitely way too tight. That could have been the reason why the compression number was low. Uh, we did one, three, I'm sorry, one, three, five on the exhaust and those actually weren't bad. They were a little loose on the outside one so we adjusted them anyway. Uh, we're going to go ahead and rotate the engine 360 degrees till we go to TDC 6, and then we will adjust the other ones accordingly, which would be 2, actually take that back, 3, 5, 6 on the intake, 2, 4, 6 on the exhaust, and I will connect our computer, I will put everything back, well, put everything back together, run another test, and that should hopefully resolve our issue with the compression. So, I'll keep you guys posted. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so we are now back at TDC number six. So again, three, five, six is our adjustment. Three should have some kind of chatter. Not bad. Number five, nothing, zero. Number six, zero. Okay, got a little bit something there on the exhaust. Exhaust, exhaust is typically, they don't have really a problem. It's more on the intake side. See, there we go. I'm still gonna put a filler gauge. I'm still gonna check it out. Uh, so there we go. So three, five, six on the exhaust, I'm sorry, on the intake, two, four, six on the exhaust side. So we're gonna adjust that. We're gonna cover everything up, put everything back. Uh, we're gonna do another compression test on the computer and let's see what our numbers read. Hey guys, we are back. So we went ahead and had a quick little break in the rain. We went ahead and performed a valve adjustment. We got everything, almost everything put together, but still I can do the test that I need to do. So the first thing I'm gonna do is launch my diagnostic link software. There you go, Detroit Diesel Diagnostic Link. Let's go ahead and cycle the key. And again, same truck, 2018 DD15 with 700 and... Oh, that's right, I gotta check engine light because I just connected the uh, intake sensor or the inlet sensor over on the air filter. So that's gonna trigger that little light but it will go away once we go ahead and connect everything back, obviously. Uh, let's see here, blah, blah, blah. Okay, 706,261. Obviously the truck has not moved. I'm gonna confirm the fault code. And again, that's just because I didn't have time to put the air filter on yet because the rain came back and started giving us a quick little shower. So, yes, yes, yes. Let's wait till everything connects. All these lights are gonna go green. And let's see what uh, what we have. Again, I'm gonna do another compression test. Did the valve adjustments, did all the good stuff. Let's go here to fault codes. Uh, let's see, what do we have, what do we have, what do we have? Yep, turbocharger compressor inlet. That's the one that comes right off of the air filter uh, housing and it comes down into your turbo inlet side. 
okay? Uh, let's see, DPF filter efficiency. So that could either be your D, um, your soot level or your soot sensor that's over on the one box, or it could be the filters themselves. And let's just kind of go here really quick. Go to, oh, wait a minute. Service routines, cylinder cutout, but I'm not gonna cut out the cylinders yet. What I wanna do is go to actions, compression test. So we're gonna do a nice compression test. The engine is completely cold. I've already showed you guys how to do that. We're gonna click on run, click on yes. Make sure we are safe and there's nothing in our way. Here we go. Now you saw the results yesterday, so you know what the numbers are. And let's see, hopefully there's an improvement. I think there will be. Okay, so definitely an improvement. 97, 97, 92. This one actually went down a little bit, but I'm gonna try that again. I'm gonna cycle the key 100. So that definitely improved, improved, and this went from zero up to 70%. Uh, I'm gonna cycle the key one more time. Let's see here, it tells you, do, 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 do. test can only be run once per key cycle. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this program out, cycle the key again, turn the truck on, and I'm gonna do this a couple times just to see if the numbers change. They should, again, big improvement from zero up to 70 not necessarily where I want it to be, but you know, I mean, it is what it is, guys. So let's shut this down. Let's cycle our key. All right, that's gonna shut down, blah, blah, blah. That's gonna shut down. All right. Relaunch our software. Turn on our key. Again, lights are still gonna be there. They're not gonna go anywhere. You can't just magically cycle your key and they go away. All right, anyway, enough of that. Back to why we are here. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I had to clean the screen or the lens on my camera because it's really dirty. All right, here we go. So green, 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 all the way around. Uh, again, just wanna make sure the codes are the same ones and we're not getting any, any kind of uh, any funny business. Service routines, manual cutout. Tools, no, we're gonna to go to actions, compression test, wait for the computer to let us say run test. Uh, there we go, run test, click on okay. And we are gonna crank it until it won't crank no more. All right, guys, let's see. Is there an improvement from the first one? 64%. So yeah, something's definitely going on there. That could be something on the valves, maybe the cylinder head. Again, if they're not being maintained properly, again, adjusting your valves, that could contribute to that. I'm gonna run the truck. I'm gonna run it just to see if it sounds any better than it did last time. So bear with me here, guys. Definitely sounds a lot better than yesterday. Now I don't have the air filter on there, so you can actually hear the turbo and uh, kind of winding and spooling so runs a lot better than yesterday holy shit it sounds a lot better the rpm gauge if you remember yesterday's video or you remember the video i'm gonna you know hopefully you see that on there this was definitely bouncing around a lot i don't like it is now so i gotta figure out what the hell's going on with that number one uh let's see here i'm gonna increase the rpms to 700 and i'm gonna cut out the injectors one by one I know you guys can't really hear it and you certainly can't feel it, but when the injector cuts out, it does actually cause it to misfire, kind of like a, like a spark plug on a car. Yeah, I can hear it. Okay, good. So all injectors are actually working just fine. I do like that. I like that a lot. Uh, but again, I don't really like the fact that the compression is not at 100% on the number six. It's at 70%-ish, uh, which again, is not bad. I'm going to let the engine warm up, do an idle speed balance test. And I've showed you guys that before on the other test. Um, you've got to be at least at 160 degrees or more. So right now with the weather, what it is, it's probably not going to do that right now. So I'll probably do it tomorrow once I put 
the air filter on and get all the accessories on there as we speak. So for now, I think the valve adjustment went went well. It went pretty good. Again, I wanted a better number, a better result. Uh, that light will go away once I connect the sensor. And that's pretty much it, guys. I think that's pretty much it for this video. Um, not sure yet. I'm going to put the filter back on tomorrow morning. And again, check the injectors, check the performance, check all that good stuff. And I think we should be pretty good. So I'll keep you guys posted. Like I said, I want to put this all together. I want to make this as... Um, I want this shit running right, in other words. So I'll keep you guys posted. All right, guys. So after, I don't know what feels like 40 minutes, we finally got the temperature above 158. We did an idle speed balance test and all the injectors are good, which is a good sign. Again, zeros are good. So right now what I'm gonna do is cycle the key one more time. Let me turn that shit off, that's annoying. All right, that's a good sign. So again, we're gonna cycle the key. I'm going to shut this program down and then we're going to cycle the key or turn the key back on, cycle it, whatever you want to call it. Come on, come on, come on. Who's going to be the faster one of the two? All right. There we go. Key on, engine off. Let's go ahead and launch the program one more time do the compression test and let's see if there's any improvement now that the engine is warmed up. And again, we're right about 160 degrees, which is good. Oil pressure was definitely good. I'm happy with it. Uh, engine sounds good, runs good. Now let's see if the compression has improved. Uh, if not, then possible issue with the cylinder head or maybe something going on inside, but there's no blow by, which is interesting. So keep that in mind. Still gotta wait for all greens on the left side. All right, here we go. So actions, compression test. Wait for the little run. Run, yes. All right, you know what to do. Okay guys, the moment of truth. And let's see what the numbers are. Okay, 96, 100, 96, 94, 90, and 67. So that is an improvement. It went from, I think it was at 70 or 60, 64-ish right around now. So now we're at 67. So definitely an improvement. Not like these. These are great numbers. This possibly something going on, maybe an indication of something happening that will need to be addressed. So guys, if you like the video, hopefully this helps you guys out. Again, stay on top of your maintenance. Do your valve adjustments, oil changes. You know what to do, man. Let's keep these engines running for a long time. So, guys, if you like the video, again, as always, smash that like button. If you don't, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Thank you guys for watching.